In the beginning, a light so bright. In the beginning, before time took flight, there was the word, oh, so bright. The word was with God, and the word was God too. Everything started with this. It's true. The light shone in the darkness so deep, but the darkness couldn't make the light sleep. A man named John came to share the good news, but he wasn't the light. He was just lighting the fuse. This light gives life. It's a magical thing. To everyone, to everything, it brings a bright zing. The word became flesh. Yes, it's true. Lived among us, bringing grace brand new. Nicodemus came in the night. There was a man. Nicodemus was he, a ruler of the Jews, as smart as can be. He came to Jesus in the dark of night, and asked, "How do I step into the light?" Jesus replied with a twinkle so bright, "You must be born again to see the light." Nicodemus scratched his head, so puzzled indeed. How can one be born when they've grown a big seed? Not born of flesh, but of spirit. You'll be born from above. It's a mystery, you see. The wind blows where it wishes. This is true. So is the spirit. It'll make you new. The water turned to wine. In Cana, there was a wedding so fine. But oh, they ran out of wine. Jesus' mother said, "Do what he says." And soon there were jars filled to the top. Yes, fill them with water. Jesus declared. And when they did, the best wine was shared. The guests were amazed. Where did this come from? But the disciples knew it was just the start of what would come. For God so loved the world. God loved the world so much. It's true. He gave His only Son for me and for you. So whoever believes in Him won't perish in strife, but will have forever eternal life. God didn't send the Son to judge and frown. But to save the world, to take away the crown of sin and sadness, of darkness and gloom, so we can live forever, no more doom. Light has come into the world so grand, but some love darkness; they hide their hand. But those who seek truth, who love the light, come into the open to bask in its bright.